The Bible said, then he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities. And when John had heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said to him, are you the coming one or do we look for another? John, are you not the one who's supposed to go before the Messiah and prepare the way for the Messiah? John, are you not the one conceived supernaturally through Elizabeth, the one who had mentored Mary, who had bore a son by the Spirit called Jesus? you supposed to know better. Your question causes us to question a number of things. John the Baptist sends a delegation amongst those he had with him. He sends two. They want to ask a question to Jesus. Are you the one? Or should we wait for another? When Jesus heard it, he invited the disciples. He did not say, okay, you guys are gossiping about me. What a pertinent question because Jesus Christ knew that John the Baptist is not here trying to figure me out in the flesh. His question was a right question to try to decode something that was only in the spirit. There are certain things that had to point to the one who had to come. That are even if we could not put our hands on how eloquent, how tall or how short he or she is but the mere fact that we see him operating in those things that makes the characteristics of the one described we will know by conclusion that he is the one because for everything that God said he has also signals signs and characteristics there are sine qua non signs Sine qua non signs meaning here that without those signs you cannot be. If you find a giver, if somebody says I'm a giver, I have been called to build the kingdom of God financially, you do not look at his shoes anymore. To really confirm that such a person is called in the giving ministry, you do not look at his position, whether he is uh, affluent in life, which type of cars he has, uh, where he stays, no. The characteristics, the sine qua non signs, is not what he has, is what he gives, is good work. So if you tap into what the person does, you will figure out in God who he is. Because you see, out of your nature, your doing flows. Right. A good person will do good. An arrogant person will be arrogant. Out of your nature, your fruit. Yeah. As a tree, you produce. This is a presentation of Hallelujah Ministries International. Jesus say. Come in, no issue. See, and go and report. It is even say that the greatest way to grow church is by referral. You know that? The best powerful outreach is an outreach that causes referral. Mm. When people start saying there. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, come and see, so you may speak. Invite the family to AMI. Let them go. After that, they will go and say, hey, me, I will not go and do these things that uh, that ritual guys want us to do, ritualist. Why? Because I've been exposed to something that confirms. Hallelujah. Some people, they have a wrong perception of you, your families, because they have not gotten close. They do not know you. Hallelujah ministry is the place where the pastor has a golden microphone because he has manipulated somebody. Because they've not been here. Mm -hmm. If they are here and they hear that the child's school fees have been paid, 
and we are all loving Jesus Christ and we have not fallen on our head, they will start thinking twice. Do you understand? Jesus said, come and see and go and report. That's right. Meet them, then you know. Can I open another bracket? Don't judge people too quickly. Please. Don't. Amen. It is sometimes important to sit down, to listen, to think about it. Don't be too quick to bring judgment. No, he's like that. She's like that. They are like that. No. Sometimes allow things to set up by you listening and hearing. And, and that in this way you will realize, okay, he said, come and report. And what Jesus Christ showed him was not just teaching. He showed him things designed and already established as characteristic by the prophets of old. The prophet of old, Isaiah spoke of the Messiah. And literally Isaiah presented to say, when you see the Messiah, he will have one, two, three. The things to look for in the Messiah are one, two, three. So he came and just said, show him one, two, three. Those are the things that you can only find in the Messiah. And he would have a better conclusion for himself. Jesus. Isaiah 35 spoke about the blind opening their eyes. The lamb walking. Healing and deliverance, the supernatural power of God manifesting. So he said, come and see and report what you are seeing. You are seeing the manifestation of what makes the Messiah Hallelujah. the Messiah. The church is a place of love and power. A place where we embrace each other. If we will show that to the world, we will be the church. If we can point the fact that we have a building, we know the church because building does not make a church. Right. The family of God is the number of those who are saved and brought together in a local space of a family to worship, to build one another and to fellowship. Jesus said, in this the whole world will know that you are my disciples yes. if you love one another. The world will know if you love one another. Love does not suspect evil. Mm -mm. We are not a place where you suspecting who's coming for what. No. Mm -mm. God has never given one of his child a responsibility to suspect another. Because love does not suspect evil. evil. 1 Corinthians 13. Right. So if we show love, love to those who may seem unlovable, because of their behaviors, because of their mistakes, because of the past. And uh, we show love, we will be called the church of God. Jesus. If we show power to the many testimonies that we keep on hearing of the manifestation of God, we will be the church of God. But if our gathering is a gathering of uh, who is better than who, who is from a better family, who drives what, who dresses how, and so forth, we will not be the church, the church of God, ladies and gentlemen, sons and daughters of God, is a place of God. Amen. You cannot call it the church of God if God is not in it. And God being in it has to manifest. Amen. Are you hearing me? I am speaking and I just pray that as you receive this word that it may be established. The church of God is not just what we do on a Sunday. Sing some hymns and feel good and go home. No, the church of God is a place of God. If Amen. God is not in it, it is not the church of God. Amen. Though we may sing the songs of God, if God is not in it, it is not a place of God. Amen. And where God is, the manifestation of God becomes evident. Amen. Yes. Amen. His name was Jacob. He opened his eyes because of a revelation. Where he was, he saw a leather and angels going up and coming down. 
ascending and descending. He woke up and he said, surely God is here. Now, he had called the place. He had called it Bethel. Bethel meaning the house of God. But because of the amount of grace, spiritual manifestation, supernatural happenings, he called it El Bethel. El Bethel, God of the house of God. Do you understand? Hallelujah. The house of God should not just be a painted place with a big name. Jesus Christ is here. No. You feel him. When you are there, you feel him. You Amen. feel him. You, you feel him. Hallelujah. You, you know what I say? You feel him? Who do I mean you feel? You feel the healer. Because the healer is he. Mm. The healer is he. They call him Rafa. El Betel. God of the house of God. So he pointed and said, report back. The sick are healed. Supernatural manifestation. The lambs walk. The blind can see. That was sufficient. That was enough. What is it that you do? Mm. That tells the world who you are. What is it that you do? Jesus heals. You create wounds in people's heart. Jesus. Your words are like scissors. You cause many to bleed. But you say you're prophetic. What is it that you do that really defines who you are? Jesus said, Report back that our flu cow heals the sick. Is, is it too much to handle? Or did I just provoke somebody? Go back to report that is fearless. And he says, God be for me. Who can be against, against me? Go back to report. She is unshaken and say, the Lord is on my side. The Lord is my deliverance. Go and report. Yes. You know the pastor because you say you're a pastor. How many things did you mend? Mm. Our ministry is a ministry of reconciliation, not of division. Glory to Jesus. Because of you, A and B do not see eye to eye. Because when you heard what A said, you reported it to B. Understanding that he will not accept it. And you presented it. You say, I, I just care. And I'm, not, I'm just blah, 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 blah. When you look for a wizard, you mm -hmm. look at a few things. Right. You know witchcraft Preacher. is one thing. Pastor. Being a wizard Wizard. Wizard. When you want to find a wizard, the first thing is, uh, is uh, a sower of division. Right. Not everyone who sows division is a wizard. But you will not miss a wizard if you check on this. First thing. I hear. I report. Uh -huh. And I say, I heard it. I didn't even comment. I was shocked. <laughs> Waiting for you to report. To say something. When say, really? The person I used to pray for, the person comes back. Hey. Mm -hmm. You know, when we spoke, I didn't want to say, but I was seeing something, the seed that was bad. So I tried to mention that we, we had a conversation, a good conversation <laughs> about her, but the way she spoke. Jesus. She created a battle. Now, weak people. When you hear that, you say, hey, he is speaking to me. You speak more. You feel it. And you'll find only one person who's friends to everybody, but none of them are friends to each other. Wizard. 
One, two, three. Fire! What is it that you do? Go and tell John the Baptist what you see. Yes. As you reported, the goodness of God and the glory of God will manifest. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Alf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Alf Lukau on all social media platforms at Alf Lukau.